Well, welcome back. We're taking a live look out at the Muni lot. You can just see how heavy the rain is coming down through parts of downtown Cleveland when you really eyeball some of those lights out there too. You can see it streaming down. The parking lot is damp. There are still folks out there because, of course, this is Northeast Ohio. We have Browns crazy fans here and they are out before uh, 8 a.m. And that will be the gist as we head through the morning. Rain and wind will continue. For us, though, we are just starting to see this completely blanket Northeast Ohio. It's just really starting to filter on in here. I told you it would start early this morning and really the heaviest part of the morning when it comes to rain would stretch at least through about mid to late morning and then we'll start to see on and off showers. So some more moderate rain through parts of Erie, Lorraine, all the way down through Tuscarawas and Carroll counties and just south of Trumbull too. So if you have travel plans around the area today, they will be impacted by wet weather on the roads, people driving, the wind too. It's a two hands on the wheel scenario. A lot for some extra time as you head on out. Everywhere from Vermilion all the way down to Wakeman, Wellington, all the way out to Strongsville too, seeing some more of that moderate rainfall all the way to the metro area, North Olmstead. Independence and then a little bit farther south, closer to New Philly. This is south of Canton near Mineral City, Carrollton, so parts of Tuscarawas and Carroll County. So seeing some of the most intense rainfall rates at the moment. How much rain can we take out of this entire system today? Well, anywhere between half an inch all the way upwards of an inch, maybe an inch and a half, depending on where those heavier bands set up. The good and giving thing about the rain being in place is that our temperatures are still on the mild side. We're all waking up to the 40s this morning, which is a very different situation than the 20s and 30s. 30s we had yesterday morning. It's 44 in Elyria. Same thing in Youngstown, 43 in Dover. Almost 50 though in Mansfield. Not too far off for parts of Cuyahoga County as well. That is 10 to 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning. We will have a consistent and gusty southerly wind that is helping us stay mild, all in association with an area of low pressure. Sustained right now anywhere between 5 to 15 miles per hour. We will see gusts ranging between 30 to 40 miles per hour at times today. It is all associated with a bigger picture system. It's that area of low pressure. It is parked a little bit closer to St. Louis, at least the general center of that circulation. But you can see these outward bands of just intense rainfall, not only impacting the Buckeye State, but all the way through Indiana, Illinois, and then down through parts of the Mid-Atlantic and the Southeast. Beyond that, though, we get this cold front to swing on through, so we will eventually get some cooler air in here, so don't hold on to the 40s when it comes to how we start the mornings in the next couple of days. I'm going to show you something a little different here. We're going to go into a little bit more science. This is meteorologically speaking. We can look at water vapor satellite. So what this means to you is in the orange shade you're seeing is the drier air filtering in and then these whites and blues. This is actually those cloud tops and where the most moisture is falling at the moment. And when you kind of really fine tune it, you can see that some of these have been very convective. This is a very mature area of low pressure. So some lightning has actually been possible out of this as well. Some of that stronger activity down through parts of the southeast. You can see those little pockets of blue. That's where that lightning has been throughout the system. For us, though, we're not anticipating a whole lot of uh, active rumbly weather for us, but temperatures will be in the mid 50s today. That rain will be off and on, especially as we head through the second half of today. Today is the day for all the indoor plans. Yesterday was the day to be outside. In your National Zimmer hour by hour forecast, this is through 8 a.m. So any active churchgoers this morning. You will be impacted by rain as you head in that general direction this morning. Other than that, this is 1 p.m. Time for kickoff for the Browns versus Bucks. They will be impacted by the rain. So will the spectators. So if you are headed on out there, make sure you are bundled up with all of the rain gear. Union Home Mortgage drops us from the 50s into the 40s tomorrow, and we do the whole thing over again through the middle of the week. And then, though, we go from the 50s into the 30s, so the cooler air will eventually get here, Isabel, just not today. I'm okay with that, Peyton. Me too. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much.